Good morning, it's Yaki here with today's devotional. On Sunday, Keith preached an excellent sermon about us not discarding but keeping our persistent faith as described in Luke 18 verse 1 to 8. I urge you to listen to it. That got me thinking about the Christian faith and what it's based upon. Are we required to just believe blindly in ideas and feelings in order to be considered a Christian? Thank the Lord, no. There is rock-solid, tangible evidence to back up the Christian faith that have stood the test of time and even the most severe scrutiny. I'll quickly gloss over some of it, but there is way more and I urge you to look into it, especially if you're not a believer, because you never knew Christianity can be rational and evidence-based. Firstly, the belief that there is a God. This one was never difficult for me to believe. A universe cannot come into existence from nothing. Our universe is also extremely fine-tuned to be able to support life. The laws of nature are so perfectly balanced that only extremely tiny variations of what they are currently would make our universe impossible. Next, the reliability of the Bible. There has never been an archaeological discovery that has contradicted the truth of the Bible. The Bible is historically verifiable, accurate and trustworthy. Whether one examines the Bible's historical, archaeological or manuscript evidences, you will find nothing to discredit the Bible's claims. Such an examination in fact lends great credibility to the Bible. Lastly and most importantly, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How can we know for sure that Jesus actually died and rose again? And what difference does it make? The Apostle Paul answered this last question emphatically in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 14 to 19, saying that if Christ did not rise bodily from the grave, then Christianity is false. We are still in our sins and there is no hope beyond the grave. Of course, if Jesus did die and rise physically from the dead, then Christianity is true. Our sins are forgiven and there is hope for heaven. Which is it? According to the Bible, we have certainty, Luke 1 verse 4, and convincing proofs, Acts 1 verse 3, that Jesus actually died on the cross and physically rose from the grave three days later. The death of Christ on the cross is historically well supported, with evidence from both biblical and non-biblical sources. The Old Roman Creed written in the 2nd century confirms Jesus' crucifixion under Pontius Pilate. Jesus suffered severe injuries, significant blood loss, and endured six hours of crucifixion, which itself ensures death through asphyxiation if unable to lift oneself to breathe. Roman executioners confirmed Jesus' death, and he was pierced with a spear, which produced blood and water, indicating physical death. While few doubt that Jesus of Nazareth died under Pontius Pilate, Many question whether his body was physically resurrected. Evidence for this event is compelling. First, the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, where Jesus was buried, was found empty just a few days later. Matthew 28 verse 6. The same body that had been laid in the tomb appeared for 40 days to over 500 people across 12 different occasions, showing crucifixion scars and inviting people to touch him. The apostles' unwavering conviction and the empty tomb strongly support the reality of Jesus' physical resurrection. And that was just a brief summary of some of this rock-solid evidence for the Christian faith. And I didn't even touch on the prophecies fulfilled by Jesus. I urge you to look deeper into the evidence for Christianity. You might find that it is almost overwhelming and really helps with us keeping that persistent faith. I hope you have a great rest of your day.